What is up you guys? It's your girl Reese. Welcome back to my space. Today we are going through the top six shoe trends of the fall winter months. You guys know I'm a shoe gal. I love shoes. I'm always indulging. If you follow me on Instagram, you see that I am constantly shopping for shoes and I need to go on a shopping day, but <laughs> it is what it is. Okay. So let's hop right into number one. So number one, we're going to go a little bit more vague because there are subcategories in it. Boots. To no surprise, in the fall, boots are in. Specifically this year, we're seeing a lot of chunky boots, which is a continuation of last year and the year before that, really. But the brands are really leaning in. They love that lug sole. They love that thick, fun sole for tall boots, short boots. We're really loving the chunky boots. We're seeing it from Bottega Veneta, Stella McCartney, Louis Vuitton, I think, did a couple chunky ones too. Gucci did chunky. Jill Sanders doing chunky. All the designers are doing a good, good chunky boot. Now here is an example. They're doing short boots and tall boots. So this tall boot has a little bit less of a chunky lug sole, but still a little bit. But this one, these are my Doc Martens. So high and low fashion, you know, you'll see it everywhere. And Docs honestly are the OG, triple OG. Like these guys did the chunky boots first. Really, this was the blueprint. So as you can see, it has like a big, big chunky sole. You're seeing this in all the designer boots that are doing the chunky soles. And what's great about this is that not only is it fashion because it's super trendy right now, but these rubber soles, these big, big, thick rubber soles, also super functional come winter months, where if you live in climates like I do, and there's a lot of ice and snow, this will protect you from sliding and falling. <laughs> I love it. I love that it's fashion and function. Like we're not giving one up for the other. And that's what I really hate about the colder months is that you really have to sacrifice either safety by wearing you know the shoes with the slick bottoms and risking your life for fashion or you have to sacrifice fashion to be warm or safe in this case so i love this about the chunky boots so like i said they come in the short sizes they come in the tall sizes all types of great chunky boots we love to see them all right up next is for my fancy gals and i'm a fancy gal you know i i like a fancy look every once in a while I have been seeing a lot of boots that resemble the Celine Madam. I think, yes, this is the Celine Madam boot, but I'm seeing them in the tall version. So, by far is doing it. Tony Bianco, these beautiful boots with this very specific square toe, but it's like a slender square toe. It goes forward almost to a pointed toe, but it caps off at a square toe. So, I was very skeptical at first because Square toe and me, we, we don't go together. So I was like, I'm unsure. But the beautiful pair from Tony Bianco and by far that is in the white color, I think is on my wish list for next, my next shoe purchase. Because I think that these shoes, as we've seen with this Celine Madam, they really stand the test of time. You can wear them with so much, it goes with so much, and it just really makes your look very elegant. And I like that it has like the little casual part of it with the square toe instead of a pointed toe, which you guys, if you're OG on my channel, you guys know that I'm a pointed toe gal. Sign me up for all the pointed toe shoes, boots, everything pointed toe. I am there. So I really like that this does have the dressy vibe, but also gives you a little bit more of a casual look. And it's very opposite of the other trend, which is the chunky boot. You know, the chunky boot is extremely casual and this is a little more fancy, but not over the top fancy. All right, up next for boots is cowboy boots. Now really and truly, depending on where you live in the world, cowboy boots might be a trend that never ever dies. And honestly, cowboy boots every single year, I feel like a couple brands do it, like Isabel Morant does cowboy boots every single year. And the, you can never go wrong with them. Like they literally go with everything. And this is a little bit biased too, because I lived in Calgary and Calgary, if you don't know, is similar to like Texas where we do have cowboys out there. So it's very regular and normal to have people wearing cowboy boots and I learned that they go with everything. It's the shape. The shape of the cowboy boot is extremely flattering for your foot and it's very comfortable, which is crazy. So one, a lot of cowboy boots, most cowboy boots are made from leather. So it's very sturdy. It'll last through many, many years. I feel like the, the more you wear a traditional cowboy boot, the more comfortable it gets and the better it looks. It has that worn, leather look it's just fantastic these are not leather these are from h&m in my newer boots and um, but they have the cowboy shape so i want to show you guys 
I like the slender front and I like that because it gives you kind of like a skinny foot vibe and I don't like feet looking like overly chunky so I like this shape and then it has the small heel the one thing about me is I do like a little bit of a lift I don't really enjoy wearing flat shoes very often uh, once in a while I will indulge but the, a little heel is better on my back and this is me showing that I'm old lady now <laughs> I just can stand on my feet for much longer when I have a little bit of a heel going on. So this is perfect for me. So what I like about this is a cowboy boot just gives a little pizzazz to a very casual outfit. You know, cowboy boots, you can stuff your denim outfit into it, but it's just, it's polished. It's like a nice look and not everybody, unless you live in the places that do cowboy all year round, not everybody indulges in the cowboy boot look vibe, but when people do, I think that it really ties their outfit together. It's a very unique look too, because it's not frequent. So guys, if you take one bit from this video, it would be get yourself a pair of cowboy boots. I currently have the Isabel Morant cowboy boots in my wish list. I like Isabel Morant's because they're much more subtle. Um, they don't have the like embroidery on the side, or, and if they do, it's in the same color as the shoe. If it's black, it's black threading embroidery, so it's not like gaudy and in your face. So that's on my wish list for my next shoe. Okay, moving on. If you guys have been watching my last couple of videos, I think you guys know how much I love this trend. It is the chunky loafer and Oxford. I love an Oxford and a loafer as a woman who is in the work industry. And I'm a bit taller, I'm like five foot eight, so I can wear shorter shoes. I don't always have to wear a heel, which is wonderful. So loafers and oxfords are not new to me at all. What I love about them this season is that they're adding these fun platforms. I love it so much. Why? Because I am from the Spice Girl era. We love the platforms, guys. These are another pair of loafer ox oxfords that I've had for many years. These are Brunella Cuccinelli, they're super cute and they have the more traditional Spice Girl platform. <laughs> and I wear those to work very often. So I love these shoes so much. So many brands are doing it. Prada, I love the Louis Vuitton version. I love the Chanel version, except for they're a little bit more grown woman for me and I feel like this is a little bit more edgy and this is my vibe. But so many brands are doing this. A lot of dupes, a lot of, what, a lot of high street as well. So you can definitely indulge in the style. It's just, so good i love the lift and i love that i'm not sacrificing my feet pain in my feet to wear heels for lift when i can just pull out my platform loafers like that is ideal for me i love that so so much and this just goes with so much and hot tip for you guys i am shaped pretty straight so as a person who is pretty straight these can make my feet look overly large so to style these, I would suggest that you wear wider pants, like wide pants to give yourself a more voluminous look to you or do bold shoulders. So it's proportionate to the big loafer. Okay, up next is a trend that I haven't indulged in yet, but I don't doubt that I will soon. So the soft Sherpa Sherling shoes for this year are super in and to no surprise really, because I feel like every single year, Sherling and Sherpa come back full circle for fall in coats and in clothing. So it was bound to happen in the shoes. And this is not the first time because Gucci did the Prince Towns with the little furs and it was honestly the cutest shoe. And any of my friends who owned those told me that they were like the most comfortable things ever. They were so warm. It's like little bears hugging your feet and that's just like the most adorable thing. So I've seen it a lot in um, on runway. I actually have the pair of JW Anderson chain loafers in the regular style and i've seen that they've added like the shirling interior and i think that's what i'm going to indulge in for this trend it's just good you know it's like a great shoe a flat shoe that's comfortable and then you add this warmth and this is like i said this is not new with you know uggs being around forever and moccasins being such a trend every single year in the fall winter months this just makes sense for you to have a little fancier shoe with warmth on the inside. It's a win-win. We love fashion and function here. Okay, up next is a favorite. I can't want to say like all of these are my favorite, but the jeweled shoe. You're seeing so many designers indulge in jeweled shoes and I love it so much. I love this trend. 
As you guys see here, the Manolos are something that will never ever go out of style. So I think that though this trend is a little more in your face and gaudy, it's something that you can almost guarantee that you will pull out of your closet again. I wear these all the time. I actually need them in another color. I'm due for another color for sure. So you've seen brands like Mock and Mock just come out of the woodwork and just be extremely popular. They're stunning. These are a little bit more gaudy than of course the Manolos, but I feel like you can wear these with so much. You know, it goes with a casual look. I would wear these with jeans. You're gonna see me outside wearing these with jeans, guys. Love them so much. And I think that the jeweled shoe is so fun because in the fall, winter months, we tend to kind of get boring with our wardrobe, you know? Like we tend to wear these neutral colors, the same thing, layers, keep warm. like. Of course, functionality and like to be warm is extremely important for your wardrobe in the fall winter. So it's not as fun. You can't do so many fun things. So adding a jeweled shoe is just like my smiley face on a gloomy day. I love it. And not only are brands doing the heels, I've seen boots, which is amazing. I saw a pair of Renee Cavillas that are boots. Like I think they're a short boot and then they had similar to this, the crystal rope wrapped up the the ankle part and i was like that's so cute you know that sets you apart it's just fun it's given me like i said my smiley face on a gloomy day this is a trend that i absolutely love and will indulge in forever and ever and you know i don't think it's gonna go any away anytime soon we've seen amina mawadi and maki Mak just like blow up and guys i will be indulging in way more jeweled shoes i love it i love it so much all right up next is something that i actually don't indulge in too much sneakers in a previous video i did say that i need to start indulging in sneakers because you know i'm growing up and out and doing things a lot so i need to have comfortable shoes to go and do stuff so i do need to indulge but this year i've seen a lot of new balances on everybody like they sell out like crazy i didn't even know this was a thing until I started seeing people post in their stories like, oh my gosh, go buy this quickly because these are gonna sell out. So the girls, the girls are wearing new balances with everything. It looks so cute. It's just not quite my jam. I'm seeing a lot of Jordan ones that's just taken off and been crazy. And then more recently, I've seen that Dunks, Nike Dunks have been immensely popular. It's crazy because when I was a kid, I used to be a little bit of a sneakerhead and I remember buying Dunks because I have a kid foot, like I have a boy's foot size. Um, I bu remember buying Dunks for like $70, maybe $80, something like that, but something ridiculously cheap. And maybe the adult size is like $100. And now they're going, first of all, you can't buy them in store. Whenever there's a release, they fly off the shelves. And resale, it's like $400 for the good colors. And this is crazy to me, but everyone's wearing it. It's not just a hype beast and hype face. It's all the girls are wearing. Nikes, you know what? It's, it's a good look. It is a good look. All right, last up on my list is a fun trend that I have not indulged in yet, but I plan to. I just need to find the right pair. Platform heels. Now, guys, ugh. Shoe after my own heart. Shoe that is immensely sold out. The Tom Ford platforms. Oh my God. I don't know if it was them that started this trickle of platform shoes again, but wow, those shoes are so stunning. They sold out so quickly and I just, I die. I need them in my life. I don't know how I'm gonna get my hands on them, but I have to, but the Tom Ford stunning. The Saint Laurent platforms, which I think are really cool too. I think those are the ones that I might indulge in myself. Valentino's doing platforms. Everybody's doing platform shoes and I love it. It's really giving me Studio 54 vibes, like retro cute vibes. I love it and I'm a tall girl like I said I'm five foot eight and in a platform heel I'm stacked I'm almost six foot or six foot depending on how high I go I'm a tall girl in some platforms but it's such a cute look I love that it's come back in style it's so fun to style and again kind of like I was saying for the jeweled shoes these fun styles are really like the cherry on top of your outfits in the fall winter that can be a little bit more you know boring for lack of a better word. A lot of my outfits are a little bit boring and then I add some shoes and it's like, wow, that looks good. That looks good. So platforms, we love it. And again, Spice Girl era. So I like this twist. I like this twist a lot. I will be indulging in some platform shoes as a giant girl, <laughs> a giant. Anyways, that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments below 
what shoe trends you will be indulging in this fall winter and i will see you guys next video